Hi, this is Richard from Bookmark Games, and today we're going to take another look at Undaunted Normandy. Um, coming soon for PC, Mac, and iPad. Obviously, it's uh, still in development at the moment, but uh, let's have a look at where we are. And today we're going to play the Behind Enemy Lines scenario. Uh, and in this scenario, both teams need uh, to control five objective points to win, uh, and it also introduces the uh, sniper unit to the US team. So let's start as the US player. Okay, um, so when we look at the map, let's zoom out a little bit, um, we can see, uh, actually let's go in. we've got some US units at the top of the screen here, um, guarding the sort of top left and top right hand corners of the map, which contain US victory points. Um, three victory points, which is why the US already has three of the five victory points to win. This, this is a very quick scenario, uh, this one. Um, in the centre of the map, we've got the German units, and uh, they're controlling the, the four victory point uh, values in the middle of the map. And they've got two teams of uh, gunners and uh, scouts and riflemen, the A squad over on the left and the B squad on the right. And then down at the bottom of the map, we've got a, uh, a sniper uh, down here, a US sniper to use. So, uh, so the idea is going to be that we um, we can either, well, we need to control two victory points. So we'll probably go for the, uh, the center of the board, which is where there are two. Uh, maybe try and do something very quickly uh, to control that and, uh, and guard against losing in particular, well, any, any victory point, to be honest. The Germans just need one to win. So we start in the initiative phase. Uh, we've got our decks laid out here. We've got our supply deck where we can we can bolster from with a squad leader card. We've got our draw deck, which is where we draw cards into our hand. We can see the hand down at the bottom of the screen here, with four cards in it. Uh, and if we highlight over, we can see the same cards on the tooltip. During our turn, when we play cards, they go into the play deck, and at the end of the turn, the play cards all move into the discard pile. Uh, once the draw deck is empty, then the discard card, discard pile is shuffled uh, back into the draw deck. And then finally, we've got a Fog of War uh, deck. And as our scouts move around, um, they move fog of, they generate Fog of War by moving. That m sort of clutters up your, your, your hand. They, they get moved into the discard pile and it clutters your hand up, sort of making it a little slower to get around the board unless you remove the uh, Fog of War cards with the same scout. So, uh, looking at our draw hand, I think we can, we can get this scout up and running and we can use the squad leader possibly to sort of generate um, a couple of routes for it. Um, we'll use the sniper to attack early. So we're, we're going to play the squad leader in the initiative phase at the start here um, as our initiative card. Uh, it has a value, initiative value of seven. So. Uh, We'll see what the, uh, the German side does. And that plays a rifleman with a value of five. So we retain the initiative, which is indicated by this, this token here this turn. So let's, uh, let's get the scout moving to start with. What we'll do is we'll scout down here onto the river. Okay, so that acquired a Fog of War card. And then we'll do the same again. We'll inspire the scout. Um, and we'll just move across the river to kind of scout. So we've scouted all, um, there's a danger we'll fill up on Fog of War cards here, but we'll, we'll kind of scout across the, uh, across the river there as well. And then finally, I'm going to use my sniper. Now, I do find that the German gunner is quite powerful. So I'm going to attack that to start with. It's a two hit value of six on the gunner. So let's do that. And that's a hit. And that removes one card from the German draw pile. And now it's the German turn. So we'll see what the German player does. So they are looking quite early to attack that. Okay, so we've got a two-pronged attack going on here. Um, we'll see what damage that does in a second. <laughs> so, they're, so they've moved their... Um, they're sort of using their squad leaders to inspire their... Uh, inspire their um, scouts. So let's recap on what, what happened there. So the so one one German scout moved up and just covered off um, the two victory point tile up here and then also the one victory point tile over here by using the um, squad leader. And then the other one 
went down to the victory point here. Now, if we lose this, if we lose any of these tiles, but if, if they gain one victory point, they win. So we need to kind of defend against that. So we're back to the initiative phase. Um, we've got a B scout. If I right click on a card, it shows me where the tile is. So, so we've got the scout up here in the top right. Uh, now, I might want to use that scout just to scout one more tile, possibly over here, just to create a path for this rifleman to get to the victory tiles in the middle. I'm wary that I might be in danger of uh, cluttering my hand a bit with uh, with Fog of War cards, but I think we'll, we'll maybe look to remove those later on. I'm going to use this for initiative for now. And um, because it's a tie, we retain the initiative this turn. I will use this. I'm going to use the platoon sergeant to issue a command order to start with. Okay, so that's drawn two more cards. So it gives us the scout and the rifleman. So I'm going to move the scout to here. Now these tiles are already scouted. Okay, we can see the sort of scout highlight on, on here. I actually want to move this scout back to the top right here to make sure. Um, so when, um, when enemy units enter a tile, they can't control the tile. If, if we have one of our units in it. So by keeping the scout in there, I'm kind of defending this, uh, this tile here. I'll now move this rifleman down to this tile here, where it can look at either of these, either of these tiles here. So we can, we're being kind of quite aggressive here. And I'm going to do the same with this rifleman, move them down to here. So it gives us a couple of opportunities. Now the risk here is that um, by leaving this tile un unattended, the, the German team might move this rifleman potentially. Actually, there's no clear route. It would have to kind of go up this way. So that this rifleman is probably more likely going to go this way. For now, let's attack the German rifleman. And we need a six to hit. And we've got a seven. So that's removed a card from the discard pile. And they're moving the machine gunner. That's interesting. And the... So I think they've decided to move the machine gunner a little closer to the target. And obviously, in a, partly that's because this, this tile is harder to hit as well. It's clearly feeling vulnerable by the river. Um, so again, we'll play the Fog of War card for your initiative. I thought the machine gunner would open fire, but um, fortunately for us, it didn't. Now, let's play the platoon sergeant again. If we'd had another rifleman there, that would have been nice. Um, for now we've got the scout. We'll move the rifleman onto this victory tile. So we can control that, then we'll win. And with the scout, the scout's gonna stay here. I think we'll, uh, let's have a look. If we attack with the scout, that's a two hit of seven. It's only one. Um, I think for now what we're going to do is use the scout to add a fog of war card to the German side <clears throat> with a conceal order and then use the sniper to attack. What's there to hit here? That's a nine with three dice. It's still tricky. I think we'll attack this gunner. That's a hit and that's removed that gunner. That's always a good thing to do and we'll probably do the same with this rifleman because that way it sort of protects this opportunity down here and that is a hit and that's removed that rifleman as well so while the right okay so the german team's got up to sort of defend that central tile where we have um we have uh an opportunity to win and they're concealing fog of war cards in our hand as well okay so let's have a look um <clears throat> We'll play the Fog of War card again for initiative. So what have we got? We've got um, two undefended victory tiles um, and one defended victory tile. So if we can maybe try and aim to move the rifleman, the A rifleman here, and then the B rifleman here onto this tile here, then we might, uh, that might be enough. So let's, um, First thing I want to do with this scout is uh, recon that fog of war card that will, that will remove it from the game and draw another card, which is another fog of war card. But the rifleman, 
So the problem for the riflemen is that they're quite exposed on the river, but we'll, we'll move them down anyway and see where we get to. And let's just end the turn now. Okay, so let's have a look at the, uh, the German move. So they've, they're bolstering the riflemen that's in the corner. So obviously if they capture this tile, they've just got a lot of fog of war cards now, I think. It's just the same problem I've got, really. Um, if they capture this tile, then we lose. So we need to make sure that the scout here is properly, uh, properly looked after. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot, a lot of fog of war. So after moving my scout around a lot and, and the German side playing some conceal actions, I've got a lot of fog of war in my hand. So we don't have an awful lot of options at this point. Beyond um, using the squad leader to bolster my hand, I think we'll bolster, so obviously we could add the, the mach a machine gunner in, um, but I'm gonna bolster the rifleman cards because if we can kind of get this rifleman moving over here, and it's in a very exposed position at the moment anyway, then, um, then that gives us a chance of winning. So they're also playing a recon order with the scout there. Opening fire with the machine gunner to suppress my, my rifleman unit. Uh, here. So he's suppressed, which is why he's uh, taking cover here. Uh, that means the next time I play him, I'll have a suppressed marker on the card. I'll play the Fog of War again. So if I look at the... Let's use the Sniper to attack and I think actually the sniper is going to be good to attack the scout because if I can remove the scout from the middle then um, there's a chance that's a miss I think I don't know if it's a hit the six is a hit um, let's do the same again if you uh, if you hover over you can actually see seven it must have been a must have been a seven that was hit on the last time and that's removed the um, Remove the scout. So really, we just need this rifleman now to kind of be up and running. I'm going to bolster my other rifleman. So he's now moving this scout down to cover off that tile. <laughs> and attacking the scout there. That was unfortunate for a miss from the German side. Okay, so let's have a look where we are. We've got... Um, we're under pressure up in this top tile here where we need to make sure the scout is, is good. Um, that's a B scout. And we've got our B rifleman who um, is suppressed and an, another rifleman over on the left-hand side here. So uh, let's play the Fog of War for initiative. We'll use the, um, let's see, the scout. So we'll need to unsuppress this card. So let's recover him. He's back up and running again. Um, the scout here, I think we'll do a recon with the scout to get rid of the fog of war because we've still got too much fog of war in the uh, in the hand. And now the, the B scout, which we've drawn, having removed the fog of war card, we'll use to attack. So I can't conceal anymore because there are no fog of war cards in the German deck. We're going to use to attack the rifleman that's here with a two hit of five. And that's a hit. And remove the card from the discard pile. So this time they bolstered with their platoon sergeant and their squad leader. So the German hand's going to be quite strong soon, I think, judging by the amount of bolstering that's going on. Because of fog of war rules, I can't, um, I can't actually see what's in the in the German hand if I uh, if I mouse over it. But um... right, so we've got this rifleman here and a squad leader for him. So he could potentially. Uh, if I can attack and kill that scout, alternatively, um, I think with, so this, yeah, if I use my rifleman I can control here, with this, with this rifleman I can move here. So if I play my platoon sergeant as a, um, for initiative, we should actually win this turn. So let's see if the master plan works. So the first rifleman um, is going to control this time. There we go. The next rifleman is going to move to this tile over here. And a squad leader inspiring him will allow him to control this tile. And then we win the game. 
so that's the uh, that's the end of the game. If I press on the view map, we can go back and have a look at the uh, the, the map at the end of the game. Uh, we can also look at some statistics if you want to and see that I was I was extremely well, I was certainly luckier with uh, with my dice rolls than the um, than the German team. I was also very successful with my attacks, but that's largely because of this sniper being uh, being very powerful on uh, on offensive and. Uh, and, uh, and doing a lot of damage to the German team, so you can obviously use the uh, use the sniper well. Um, and I won all of the initiatives. So um, that is one very quick playthrough um, of Undaunted Normandy. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, look out for for more very soon. Bye for now.